Hello, Romnithril here once again, getting back to Pokémon Yellow No Evolutions, and we are here in Cinnabar Island. Do you have any friends? Pokémon you get in trades grow very quickly. I think it's worth a try. Indeed, if you have a Pokémon that doesn't share your original trainer information, it'll gain boosted experience. Pokémon can still learn techniques after canceling evolution. Evolution can wait until new moves have been learned. Sometimes unevolved Pokémon will have different move pools from evolved Pokémon that they learn from naturally. Most commonly, an unevolved Pokémon will learn techniques faster than the evolved counterpart. However, there are some cases where one will learn something that the other will not, and in the case of stone-based evolution, very often that renders the Pokémon completely incapable of learning anything else naturally, so be very careful about when you do that. For now, though, it's time for the seventh gym. Except not. The door is locked. Well, that's a problem. Scientists conduct experiments in the burned-out building. Cinnabar Jim's Blaine is an odd man who has lived here for decades. And, well, that's all the info we're getting. We have no real choice but to come in here. I'm not entirely sure what the name of this place is. I think I've seen it referred to as both the Pokémon Mansion and the Cinnabar Mansion. Either way, this is where we need to be. And it's time for Shelly's debut. So, Omanide is a water rock type. Has some pretty decent attack power. The main drawback is she is kind of on the slow side. But hey, I mean, she just woke up from a million years nap. I think we can excuse that. This place is, like, huge. We actually have trainers that walk around a little bit in here. And it's the Burglar class. It's another of those that I think they've been in other generations, but I don't really clearly remember. I am pretty sure they did stick around for Kanto remakes, though. I wonder where my partner went. Diary. February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. Foreshadowing! And a Max Potion. And a Max Revive. Very nice. So, yeah, a lot of science went down here. Hi there, Grimer. Oh, that was a crit. Good enough, though. Welcome to the team. Grimer. Sludge. Made of hardened sludge. It smells too putrid to touch. Even weeds won't grow in its path. Pink purple blob though it is, I always kind of liked Grimer and Muck. seeming proof that catching or fighting a Pokémon doesn't seem to matter for the encounter rate. I can't get out! This whole place is one big puzzle! Well, I enjoy puzzles. I also enjoy that you're using Fire-types against my Water-type. Speaking of puzzles, I need to get back to Baba as you. I've taken enough of a break from it that maybe I can figure out some of the ones that were stumping me. However, 
I have been kind of distracted by Joker getting added suddenly to Smash. He's pretty fun and stylish. Oh no! My bag of loot! Switches open and close alternating sets of doors. Good to know. The switches in question are in these statues. A secret switch. Press it? Sure. Who wouldn't? Okay, never let this kid near an umbrella complex. He'll set off the self-destruct before you've gone two feet. Now, Super Fang can still be a problem. You would think Hyper Fang would be the stronger of the two. However, it still has to deal with damage calculations and type relations. Super Fang, not so much. It just reduces the target's health by half. Doesn't matter if they resist normal or not. Now, it does mean that the move will steadily get weaker over time, because it cannot outright knock a Pokémon out. I don't think it can even defeat a Pokémon once it's down to 1 HP, but I could be wrong on that. It's one of those questions I feel like I've asked before, and I don't actually remember the answer. I could be very wrong on that. So nothing down here. At the very least, a lot of the wild Pokémon they're throwing at us this time, they're actually worth fighting for the experience. So I may as well. It also doesn't help that since Shelly has low speed, it does make it harder for us to run from these battles, so may as well fight. Yeah, that won't do too much. Diary, July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokémon was discovered deep in the jungle. Eh, you're less worth it, but you're still very, very fast. Even this far in, I have to say, Omanyte is still one of my absolute favorite fossil-type Pokémon. It just looks adorable. And calcium. Let's see, do I want to give that to anybody yet? May as well. Power up the chew a little bit. And a level up. Nice. Spike Cannon. It's one of those multi-hit moves. Thing is, I don't really see myself using Withdraw. And yeah, she's already in the B button club. I just realized we never saw her dex entry. It's way down here. Almanite, Spiral, an ancient Pokémon that was recovered from a fossil. It swims by cleverly twisting its ten tentacles about. Good to know. Let me go ahead and swap out Pokémon here. 
A switch. I'll press it and see. So now we can go this way. Or at least we could. With some of the weirdness about moves that don't take damage calculation into consideration in first gen, I forget if Super Fang actually can hit ghosts. I don't really want to burn another Nightshade on you. So, how about it? Thank you. So, continuing on our way. Hi there, Muck. Don't you do it. Okay, I didn't really want to use that. <sighs> Seriously? Go to sleep! Provide me with delicious dreams! There we go. help too much, but just to beef up the health a bit. Put some defense in there to keep her all the healthier. Well, Hyperfang doesn't hit, but we expect that much. just wouldn't cooperate. Okay, so we need to hit the statue again. And there are also scientists here. My mentor once lived here. So, once again, magnets. It's kind of funny that the Pokémon held by the trainers here are getting outpaced by the wild Pokémon. Feed me your magnets! And a Voltor. Do you want to self-destruct? You know you do. Well, you're not going to get a chance to. Whew! 
overwhelming. So, you're stuck? Try jumping off over there. Indeed, that is what's expected of us. But let's have a quick look downstairs. If they'll let us. those during my off-camera grinding sessions that takes a little while to level up. Thankfully, he gains experience fast, it's just that he has relatively few avenues for attack. Come on. You just refuse. Fine. <laughs> Again, complaining is the answer. <laughs> Timing. So, seemingly nothing down here. One of those, I don't know if there's a hidden item or something. odd little pockets that doesn't seem to really have anything of worth there. Kind of like the occasional empty room in Silent Hill that's there just to keep you wondering. Now if we jump down here, we end up in another of those pockets that we were in earlier on another floor. We need to jump down here. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Then what are you doing here? I think that's a valid question. The happy smile of Electrode. I was going to be surprised that Shade outsped an Electrode, and then I saw the level difference. Not quite enough. I hate having to burn a nightshade for just like one HP. But a level up for shade finally, so that's good. For those wondering... I am keeping him leveled up. People in the comments still want to see him from time to time. Ooh, that's bad though. Once in a while, I just like to show that Rod is still training up with everybody else. He may be a weak fish, but he has heart. We take good care of our fish here. Really? We're gonna start missing tackle. Though, so did Weezing, so I guess it's fair. This is very silly.
The fish slapping dance is a revered tradition, I will have you know. Rod will finish this battle. That's going to be the troubling part of training Rod here. The Pokémon are worth more experience, but he's going to have to survive this sort of thing, and this isn't even the kind of Pokémon we're going to be running into. We're going to be dealing with far higher levels. So yeah, that's a problem. Ouch! But yeah, I just sometimes like having silly Pokémon like that around. A key? I don't know what you're talking about. So yeah, we've let Rod have his screen time for now. So Romeo's up. And Carbo's. On one hand, Shelly could really use that, but on the other, I don't really think it's going to help her all that much. Conduit, I think, is already kind of fast enough. I'll give this to Shade. Diary, September 1st. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Well, that sounds bad. Uh-oh. Where am I now? We are getting close to the end. This is the final floor we need to deal with. Awoo! You can find stuff lying around. TM14. I know that number. That is Blizzard. So that's a pretty good one. I'll have to think about who I want to have that, though. I mean, probably it'll go on a water type. Shelly could be a good recipient for it, actually. We got all five hits there. There we go. Yeah, I'm really not sure if anything actually does affect the encounter rate, other than Repel's just flat-out cancelling it. At least running into anything that's lower level than who's leading your party. Well, I'm glad that missed. That would 
have been bad. Full restore. wild Pokemon that can be found on this floor. I kind of wonder if it'll show up. Huh. I thought Focus Energy made it so you basically couldn't get crits in Gen 1. We've been proven otherwise. ideal for a lab. More magnets. And sadly, they are not yet weak to fighting. with what we've got. I wonder if I can trick you. Nope, not quite. That didn't work. Though if you blow up now, it'll be funny. But Electrode refused. What was that for? I like it here. It's conducive to my studies. Good for you? We've at least dealt with all the trainers in the mansion. I would have been very happy for a critical during that, but alas. I could have gotten away with it. I still can, apparently. <laughs> what you got for me? Rare candy. Delicious. I still haven't used any of those. Tim 22. I actually don't remember which one this is. Solar Beam. A decent move, but better in later generations when you had Sunny Day to power it up. And we found the secret key. With that, we can leave. There's really nothing else for us to do here. But of course they do have to make the process of leaving as tedious as possible. open this door again. And we can't just go back for the stairs. We have to reactivate the statue that's in there. And so it gives us another rat to kick. And since it didn't want to show up, the other Pokémon you can find here in the basement is Ditto. So it wouldn't have counted for my team, but it would have still been interesting to see it. Level up for Romeo. Very nice. Ooh. 
We almost made it. So yes, apparently in Gen 1, Body Slam can't paralyze normal types? Oddly enough? Gen 1 is very strange. Okay, we're done here. So that we can access the exit. Hi there, Growlithe. I forgot you were here, actually. Unfortunately, not on the list. And, somehow, both exits lead to the same door. Don't question it. But with that, we can finally access the gym. And so that's what we're going to be doing next time. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And I shall see you again next time. Just go ahead and get healed up here. And so with that, until next time, fare thee well. Who's that Pokémon? It's Petrol!